Today is Sunday. I just got home from church and I'm gonna be making some bread. Um, I'm gonna be making bread different from in the bread machine. I am gonna start the bread in the bread machine to kind of like knead it and do whatever it does because my bread machine does have a dough setting. And then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna transfer it over to my Pullman pan. And I think I'll have enough dough to make two loaves. So one is gonna go in here and this bread pan as well. I normally bake a, like a two pound loaf and I just feel like the ingredients for the two pound loaf may be a little bit too much for the Pullman pan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it like my normal way of making bread and then I'm just gonna split it in half and separate them into two different pans. Right now, my oven light is on. It has been on for about 15 minutes to kind of get the um, um, get the oven a little warm for the proofing part. So we're gonna go ahead and get all the ingredients into the bread machine and get started. Hi friends. So we're gonna start with one cup of lukewarm water, one third cup of lukewarm milk, From there, we're gonna add three tablespoons of soft butter, and then three and three fourths cup of bread flour. After the three and three fourths cups of bread flour, you're gonna add three tablespoons of sugar, And from there, you're gonna add one and one fourth teaspoon of salt, and then two teaspoons of instant yeast. This is the bread machine yeast that I use. Um, if you're using a bread machine, you need to use this. Make sure it is bread machine yeast. have to I think I'm gonna split it put them in the pans put the pans in the oven for an hour um, and then kind of let them double in size before actually baking them So this is how it looks.
I'm going to take some olive oil spray and I'm going to spray it in the pans. Um, I went ahead and put it in the oven. The light is on. That's it. The oven is not on and it has to sit in there for at least one hour or until it doubles in size. So I want to say 45 minutes to an hour. And then I will come back. Right now it is 2.40 p.m. I will come back and check it at 3.30 just to maybe, maybe 3.20 just to look at it and see what it looks like. And then from there, I turn the oven on and I bake it. All right. <laughs> this is my first time, y'all. So, y'all, I'm just taking y'all along with me on this process. Because all I know is I can't be fearful of doing things, you know, afraid to fail. I have to try it. Uh, and I know over time, I will, I will get it right. So, yeah. As you can see, both have pretty much doubled in size and it is now 3.30, so they went over an hour. Um, I do not have like a, a brush to brush the butter, so I'm just gonna lightly brush butter on there with the back of a spoon. So y'all know we gotta improvise and make it work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the oven on 350. I'm going to close this back up. And then I'm going to put it in the oven once it's countdown. And then we're going to bake this for 20 minutes. It is 3.42 and I just put everything in the oven. It's going to be in the oven for about 20 minutes and I have to check on it after 20 minutes because I think at that time I'm going to pull the lid off of the Pullman pan and then stick it back in the oven. The other bread and the bread pan should already be done at that point. Like this. Do y'all smell that? That is the smell of fresh bread. Oh fresh my gosh. Bread? So let's take a look. I don't even know what to do. Let's recap. I put all the ingredients in the bread maker and then I put it on the 11 dough setting which was I think number 12. So what I did was I split it in half, grabbed another um, pan to bake the other half in, set it in the oven for an hour and it doubled in size. So then once I did that, I put it in the oven for 20 minutes on 350 degrees. It's been five minutes, so I'm gonna pull the other loaf out in the Pullman pan.
I will never make bread any other way. Like, I love making bread. I will never buy bread. You will not see it. Again. There it is, the finished product. I, I did it. And I think so, what I'm gonna do going forward is make every Sunday my bread baking day after church so next sunday i plan to bake more loaves of bread maybe more than two it really is going to depend on how quickly they um eat this bread um and then i'm gonna also include bagels because i love bagels for breakfast i hope that this encourages you to um just get your hands dirty a little bit I'm one of those people that like to research everything before I do it. Uh, I think I kind of research a little too much. Kind of, it keeps me in a period of like, I always procrastinate because I feel like I don't know enough. But I'm learning how to just kind of break free from that and just get my hands dirty and get it done. So happy that it went well. So this right here is a bread slicer that I purchased from Walmart and it was like 10 bucks. So you have this piece right here and it goes in here so the slicer or the knife goes between here and you get to choose the thickness of your bread and you just slice it down so I definitely am going to attempt to do that but the bread has to cool first um, once the bread cools it's going to be in a position to be sliced um, and I may show that um, in this video or I may just show it in a short video I don't know yet um, I, I really am just wanting to basically get all the information to you guys out close this up it's easy to wash it's dishwasher safe and the link to this will be down in the description as well okay so I decided to go ahead and add it into the video but this is pretty much how you slice the bread and this is my first time using it you guys so just keep that in mind and then i will put all the information down in the description as far as the bags and the ties that you can use to wrap your bread up and freeze it if you choose all right so that is the end of this video um i'm so glad that you stuck it out with me this long i hope it i hope it wasn't too long for you guys but i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching